I'm Jordan Bohan here with Pop Culture Planet. Nice Hi. to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you, Jordan. So I'm really excited. As you can see, I'm a big reader, and this yeah. is wow. Bad Monkey, a book adaptation. Awesome. Uh, did you read the book beforehand, before getting casted, once you found out about it, or once, have you not read it at all? No, I hadn't read it at all. I wasn't familiar with Carl Hyacin's work at all, and it was only when Bill had um, offered me the role, I read the script, and he was like, this is based on a book. Um, a writer that I've admired for a really, really long time. It's been a dream of mine to adapt this specific book. And, um, and I read the book and I just saw the appeal and I was really, I was really taken with the book, of course, but also how impressed I was with Bill's adaptation of, of Carl's novel. Was there anything you noticed that changed with your character, Bonnie, from the book to the show that you were really excited you about? You know, Bonnie didn't actually have a huge presence in the book. Uh, so, so Bill took it upon himself and really um, wrote a character that was much sort of bigger in scope uh, than what, what Carl had originally written. But what he did stay true to were, you know, all the complexities and and those things that that Bonnie, she's a bit of an enigma, uh, Bonnie, and uh, she's she's a little bit tricky and uncomplex. And so um, Bill took it upon himself, and he wrote he wrote that. And I just I love her so much. Was there anything specific from that you know new version of the character that really drew you in? Any specific parts of her story? or little quirks about her? Yeah, I think what I loved about her are all of her kind of quick turns that she makes. I loved how kind of playful and um, sexy and confident uh, she is sort of at the beginning of, of the series and then we start to reveal that she's actually um, hiding a lot of secrets and she's, um, she's actually quite sly and manipulative and slightly treacherous. And for me, she felt a little dangerous, and I loved that because I've I've not tapped into that. And I think what made me fun, made me excited, and I knew it would be fun to play, um, would be um, the tone, the tonal changes, and um, being able to do that with someone like Bill Lawrence, who is a genius at tone, um, would be really exciting and, and a fun challenge to to do. Bonnie's a very unique character, and she kind of goes through different, like you said, variations as you kind of peel back these layers of her story. Yes. Was there a specific scene that you were really excited to play just because it was super dynamic or it showed a different side of her? Yeah, I really liked um, I really liked the scene. Uh, obviously, I, I got to swim with a manatee. It was, uh, it was a really special um, experience, you know? It was something that we kind of rocked up to this place called Crystal River where you're hoping to see manatee. Um, we didn't know if we'd get one that wanted to kind of play or act with us that day. And we all went under the water and it was just this beautiful creature that was just overwhelming and um, just mesmerizing. And we played with this and swam with this manatee for about an hour and it was really one of the most special things I've ever done. So, and it's and it's a, it's a great turning point for the character as well, not just personally, it was, it was cool, but for the character, it, it was quite revelatory um, for her, and it just kind of sets her up for like the third act, so it was very cool. For a show called Bad Monkey, and then you had a scene with a manatee. Yeah. Like, hey, there. <laughs> There's a lot of wildlife in the show, you know, between the key deer and the roosters and the turtles and... Uh, you know, I think that's one of the elements of the show that I think people will really, um, they'll really enjoy as well, audiences. Great to speak with you. Very excited. Hi, nice Jordan. to meet you. Should we play a game on who knows more about pop culture between me and Meredith? Oh, boy. I, I will not to... <laughs> win. I already lose. Don't ask me anything. I just had a baby. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, first question. This new series, Bad Monkey, is based on a book. Did you read the book beforehand after you got cast, or did you decide to just go strictly off the script? I don't know how to read. <laughs> um, no, I read the book, yeah, of course. Yeah, it, once I got the pilot script and then immediately got the book, it's, it. yeah, I read it. Did you read it? Yeah, I read it. I read it twice. So. I read it, no, I read, I, it, beat, yeah. I read it five times. I read it seven times. I memorized it. I, I wrote it. <sighs> 
Both of your characters are very <laughs> dynamic, very different, you could oh, say. Thank you. Um, Meredith, I mean, your character, she kind of has this double-sided life, one kind of in Miami, which is kind of like the front, and then her life in the Bahamas, that's kind of like her secret life. Did you find having those separate type of locations to kind of help play into different sides of the character? I don't know. I'm thinking, yeah, I mean, I think she just is a, is a, uh, I, I I think she's just a master manipulator. So I think she's just somebody who like wherever she goes, it's just how do I get what I need out of this situation, and um, I'll do that at any cost. So yeah, I think we we shot everything. Like I think the most of the Bahamas stuff that we shot was actually right in the keys. But. Because maybe on the the flip side of that, you have more of a a dual timeline to your yes, character. Yes, yes. Yeah. Younger version of her and then yeah. kind of where we meet her. Yeah, though no episode 104 when you see my flashback stuff really helped inform the rest of the season and helped me find the character. It's always a gift when you get to learn the backstory. Charlotte, did you find those kind of flashback scenes for your character as well to be helpful in kind of understanding how to play her in those later scenes? Yes, completely. I mean, reading the book, as I did 5,000 times, um, <laughs> I already knew that Caitlin was this former model, ex-drug addict turned extreme, um, Christian, you know, married wife. Like, I, I knew the extremities of Caitlin and the depth of her, but as a viewer, you don't know that just from first meeting her. Like you, you know, you hear she's sober, or her dad thought she had a drug problem, or all this stuff. And and I love getting to know backstory as Meredith does, because you you got to see Caitlin as this like really innocent, sweet and pure child, and then see mm -hmm. how she slowly turned into what she became, which was really dark and sad and and messed up in a lot of ways, although still lovely. I love her so much. I have so much empathy for her still. But yeah, I think backstory is so important. It makes you have empathy for a character. Mm -hmm. You know, even Eve, who's an insane person, like seeing little bits and pieces of her backstory and, you know, episode 104 was kind of both of our like big yeah. backstory moments. Seeing that she came from like, you know, darkness, it, it makes you yeah. still understand her a little bit more than you would of just like, oh, she's just a psycho. <laughs> I mean, you two have some very confrontational scenes with each other. Was there a scene that you were really excited to shoot or a specific scene that jumps out as being really fun to film? Well, we hate each other in real life, mm -hmm. so everything was really easy. It was really method. We yeah. didn't even read up on a script. It was just like, let's let our truths come out to each other. That's what That was the direction <laughs> that was given to us. I love the scene where when, even just the first time, because it's like, you just crack up immediately laughing. Of the funeral? Like, hey, honey, like, I think I, I can see your you vagina. vagina. I was going to say that that was one of my favorites. <laughs> it made me laugh. That was a, I think your dad pitched yeah, that which line. Yeah, which is hilarious. And it just, <laughs> it hit my funny bone. Hey, honey, your vagina's hanging out of your shirt. <laughs> no, we had fun. I loved the scene after the church. I don't know what episode that was, but I remember we were at the church and I went and I said, you might share your dad's DNA, but I swallow it. Yeah, which is which so is gnarly. Which is so like, imagine disgusting. being a daughter and hearing that about your father. It's crazy. I love the, crazy. I love the funeral one too. That was the first ever time I. That was the first scene I've ever done in acting period ever. So it was so nice to be so nervous and then have my dad of all people which is hilarious, scream out, hey, tell her you can see her vagina. <laughs> and being like, okay, I can let go of this like nerves because everything is weird and it's all funny and, and ridiculous. And Meredith, you know, delivered in such a funny way. I think we had to redo that a few times because I couldn't stop giggling. But yeah, every scene we had to do together was wonderful. Definitely some iconic line delivery between the two of you, for sure. Thank that you. will Thank definitely you. get clipped, and I, I anticipate going viral. <laughs> <laughs> but this was great. Thank you so much, Charlotte Meredith. So Thank nice you. to meet you, Jordan. Thank you.